Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, today, this is going to be kind of a recap of some cards I've picked up at my uh, local card shop. Um, not all in one trip, but this over like a handful of uh, trips over there. And uh, just stuff I haven't shown on the channel yet, so I'll uh, kind of jump right into it. A lot of this is uh, uh, dollar box uh, finds. I've actually found some pretty awesome stuff in the dollar box. And... Um, and then there's also some cool stuff that I found just in the in the display case that was more than a dollar, but fun fun cards to find and add to the collection. Uh, so I will jump right into it. We'll start off with kind of the bummer one. Um, I got this uh, Gypsy Queen, Nick Castellanos rookie. Was really pumped to have it. He's uh, on the Phillies now, so I've been really excited to have him on the team. And then after I got it home and got it out, I don't know if I'll be able to get it to show, but it's... Let's see. It's got a crease. So, really bummed. Yeah, you can see kind of down. I get it in the light just above the rookie thing. You can see there's a, a crease in it. So, I'll just uh, put that in a binder and uh, try to find a better one later, I guess. Another one I found that was just uh, in the dollar box. They, it was kind of an interesting one. It was just like a little twofer. So, I guess you could just say maybe 50 cents, but it's a sweet Padres card. Hunter Renfro. So it's got the purple and then the regular refractor. So I picked that up just for my Padres PC. And uh, this was a nice uh, rookie card I found in the dollar box. Eric Hosmer. He's having an awesome year for the Padres. Really uh, tearing it up. A couple more uh, that I've got for the baseball front. This was really cool. I did not have this tops rookie of Todd Helton. So got that out of the dollar box and... Got it in my uh, baseball PC. Happy to have that Hilton rookie now. Found this one too, this Frank Robinson. This is cool. It's kind of got that vintage foil, uh, vintage tops foil stamp on there. Cool card. I got this out of the display case. I wish I could say I got this out of the dollar box, but uh, I'm definitely, I think I'm going to send this into grade. From what I can see, it looks really clean. Looks really good. This is the Topps Chrome Refractor rookie of Raphael Devers. <clears throat> he's having an awesome year, uh, as usual, really. That guy's a great player. And so I'm definitely looking to hopefully send that off to grade soon. I, I want to, uh, I think I want to give CSG a try. I really like the new labels. So, um, and their prices are a little cheaper. I, I would love to see SGC get kind of in that same price range as CSG. Um, whether that'll happen or not, I don't know. Um, but uh, I've, I think I want to give CSG a shot just to kind of see how they are. I've never graded with them before, but I love the new flips and I do like their new grading system. So that's what I got on the baseball front. Let's just jump over to football and then we'll finish off with some basketball. So these were just some value box finds here. This was just really cool to find um, in, the, in the value box. 74 all pro running backs, McCutcheon and OJ Simpson. Got this, uh, I'm trying to do a 1970 to 2015 Tops football complete set run. And I anticipate doing 1970 at some point. I do have the OJ Rookie out of here. If you follow my channel, I bought that one graded just after the holidays. I found Jim Otto and also Mel Renfro. So a couple Hall of Famers to add into the collection. Also, when I was value box rummaging, I found that Jack Tatum. Love that card. Picked up a rookie. This guy's a local guy. Played high school football here. He's uh, actually a really good tight end for the Cowboys. Dalton Schultz. <clears throat> JPP. Chrome rookie. Another local guy. Awesome player in his own right. Haloti Nata. It's his Bowman Chrome rookie card. Here's a Topps rookie card of Cam Newton I picked up. This is a cool find in the value box. It's not in perfect shape, though. This is a, a rookie refractor of Topps Platinum of LaShawn McCoy. Unfortunately, the back's got a little bit of edge wear on the bottom, but um, nice for my Eagles PC anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll pick that up. Found another uh, Topps, I don't know if you say Chicle or Chickle rookie of Shady McCoy. Added that one, and then this is kind of funny. This I did pick this one up because I didn't have his rookie, A.J. Brown, score rookie. This was before the trade to the Eagles. So I think it was like a week after I got this, the Eagles traded for him. So I thought that was kind of a funny coincidence there. So I'm 
really happy to have the rookie now. Hope he has a great year for the Eagles. Love this card. It's not perfect on the centering, but uh, if I do grade a bunch of stuff, it's clean. So I might send that in, see if I can get a 9 or so, 9 or 9.5. I don't know how, how hard they are on the centering. It's really not that off left to right, but it is just a tad. But love that shine. I uh, would love to grade that card. And I would probably grade this one too. This is, an, this is the second one of these I found. I found this in the dollar box. Marvin Harrison Bowman Chrome Refractor Rookie. So I've got two of that card now. I am a huge Marvin Harrison fan. He was fun to watch. Awesome hands. Um, and uh, saw that in there and was like all over that for a buck. I couldn't pass that up. He's such a stud. Um, jumping into the basketball side of things. Again, just got some value box stuff to start off. Got a Magic's All Rookie of Penny Hardaway. And then on the back, this is another little twofer that was in the dollar box. I got this flare insert. So that I thought would be a really fun addition for my 90s basketball binder that I am working on. <clears throat> Some of these others I have are going out in uh, care packages for friends. So I've got this shiny Rick Fox. I got another shiny Rick Fox. Um, I'll be sending those off. Same with this big game James. And this Robert Parrish, look at that. That's a sweet card. That one's actually numbered out of 350. This is cool. Former Jazz guy, Larry Chris Kowiak on the refractor. So I thought for a buck, I'll take that. I'll just uh, put that in my collection. Here's a sweet, shiny Robert Horry on the Lakers. Here's another one just for my Jazz collection. Trey Burke, I really thought this guy was going to be awesome when the Jazz drafted him, but he just didn't really pan out here. But um, a couple of cool cards, and I thought for a dollar for the pair, that'll go go good for my Jazz binder. The centering on this one wasn't good, but I need it for my set, so I uh, scooped it up. I'm down to 12 on the 87-88 Fleur basketball set. Here's a couple of Carl Malone's. I don't know. I didn't know if I had these or not, so I picked them up just in case. This is a cool one. <clears throat> Again, Jazz Guy, Boyan Bogdanovich, Prism Rookie. I'm all about the Prism Rookies. Had to pick that one up. Here's another refractor. I can remember if I had this one of Jay Humphreys. I'm working on the team set of the Jazz in these. Might have that one. I'm not sure, but for a dollar, I just snagged it. I figured I could trade it for something. And then the rest of these are just ones that I got out of the case. And uh, these were not a dollar. I wish they were, but uh, this is a select silver of Joel Embiid. I thought the Sixers really had a shot to win it this year, but they did not. That was unfortunate. Uh, the next one I've got, this was just an auto. I did not have a Robert Tractor trailer autograph in my collection. He is uh, passed away. And so I thought, chance to get an auto of his. I wanted to get that so I could have that in my basketball autographs collection. Here's a cool one. Loved this card. I didn't buy it. And then, uh, thankfully, it was still there when I went back a couple weeks later. This is the Upper Deck rookie of DeMar DeRozan. And he just had a monster year for Chicago this year. Fun player to watch. And then uh, I got a few Prism rookies. And then a big auto to finish it out. So... This guy, I don't remember if I showed these or not. I don't think I did, but uh, Jalen Brunson on Dallas just carved the Jazz up in the uh, in the playoffs, and so they uh, they had a few of his rookie his Prism rookies in the case for just like two dollars. So I just picked those all up, and uh, a couple of the other rookies in the case. They had a D'Angelo Russell Prism rookie, so I picked that one up. Victor Oladipo, he's an awesome player. I didn't have his Prism rookie. And this is another guy on Dallas that really impressed me in the playoffs. Spencer Dinwiddie, good player. Had a chance to get his rookie. And then the last one, this was really cool. Um, I don't know if this card came in this one touch. It's been opened. It looks like at some point it had some kind of seal on it that somebody popped. But this card, you can see that edge there. It's thick and it's metal. It's like a red metal frame card. And it's an on-card auto of George McGinnis signed in white. 
He's got the Pacers, got that ABA ball, red, white, and blue. And this is out of 25. And I didn't have a George McGinnis auto in my basketball collection. I love to get autos. I love to collect Hall of Famer autos. And I needed a George McGinnis, and I saw this, and it was like 10 bucks, I think. Pretty affordable. And I thought, you know, for a Hall of Famer, a card numbered out of 25, on-card auto. And I just thought that metal frame on this thing was cool. I mean, this thing is a heavy card. Weighs a lot, but uh, it's super thick. But uh, anyway, I don't have another magnetic to swap out with this. This is a magnetic for a really thick card, so I'm just going to keep it in this one. But I don't know. I just wonder if it came in this originally and somebody just wanted to look at the card because it's big and metal and popped it out of that or if they just something else came in that and they just pulled this and put it in there but i don't know cool card though happy to get george mcginnis in the collection so that is all i got for my lcs pickups as of late um stay tuned i will get more i'm sure in time i'll head back to my lcs and get some more cards so thank you for watching i sure appreciate the support and we will see you on the next video